friend function is a non-member function but it can able to access your private items also the function overloading is the process of defining same function name to carry out similar types of activity with various data items a friend function can be invoked like other normal functions but to define this function outside the class we does not require scope resolution operator welcome back to one and all myself vasantha lecturer in computer science vidyashram pre university college temple of excellence mysore today we will start with the revision class on function overloading whereas in the annual exam you will get only one question on part d only one question on part d for five marks it means that on this chapter you will get only one question that on part 5 for five marks only one question you can expect from this chapter whereas when you come on the contents of this chapter on this chapter you will study regarding what do you mean by function overloading write the advantage disadvantage and program you have to study that is overload a function then inline function under that also what do you mean by inline function the definition of inline function advantage disadvantage syntax with that program you have to study then under that last one friend function there you have to study regarding what do you mean by friend function how to write the syntax for friend function then what are the major characteristics of friend function these are the major questions you will expect from this chapter that is overload a function then inline function as well as friend function now one by one we we'll discuss first question for example what is function overloading mention its advantages first of all what do you mean by function overloading for example if i have the function int add int comma int int comma int then one more function int add int comma int comma int then one more function for example float add here int comma float then what exactly you will come to know from this example here in all the three cases the function name are same that is add only but what is the difference thing here two arguments we have here also we have two but here both are integer here one int and one more is float here we have integers two variables but here we have integer only but three variables it means that function overloading means two or more function name are same but differ in number of arguments it may be different or the data type of the argument may be different here then two or more function have same name function name are same but differ in the number of arguments or data type of the argument is called it as function overloading when we come on need of function overloading why we required for example i will write anu plus shri and one more i will write 2 plus 3 then in the first case we are getting the result anushri whereas in second case i am getting the result 5 but in both the case i use a plus operator only but here in the first case it will not going to add it will going to combine the strings depending upon the data type it will combine the string whereas here depending upon the data type here it will to add the values but here in both the case i use a plus operator only that means why we need function overloading here the function name are same but depending upon the argument that particular action here it will perform when we come on the need of function overloading the function overloading is the process of defining same function name to carry out similar types of activity with various data items then when we come on advantage of function overloading the code is executed very faster then it is easier to understand the flow of information as well as debug if we make any mistake easily we can able to correct that is why the debugging is also easier code maintenance is also easy here then with that easier interface between program and real world object these are the few advantages of function overloading now is it clear 
Next, we'll move on, explain inline function with an example. Here, if you observe, explain inline function with syntax and example, then first you have to know what do you mean by inline function. Whereas inline function is a short function. Inline function is a short function where the compiler will replace us the function called by the body of the statement here. It means that whenever we want to call the function, on that time, the compiler just replaces the body. When we come on, advantages here, number of statements are very less here. It is very fast, but executable file size increases. But here, it is very fast, codes are very simple, maximum one or two lines here will write the statements. That's why in line means here, very short function, that's why we used to say. Whereas a member function defined with a class with the keyword inline for a non-member function of a class is called it as inline function. Whereas inline function definition starts with the keyword inline only. Compulsory it will start the keyword with inline only. Then we have return type specifier. Then afterwards here function name, whichever function you want function name, then arguments, then here you can write the statements, it is empty bracket, then here we are closing the function. It means that inline function should be defined before all functions that call it. While writing the syntax of that, here compulsory we will write the inline return type, then we have to write the function name function name which function you are doing then argument list then write on the body of the function then in the example if you observe first we are using the header file ash include iostream.h for input output purpose then ash include conio.h this is the header file for clear screen as well as get cs function then inline is the keyword we are using then int is the return type then this is a cube is a function name. Here int a represents the argument list. It means that here written a into a into a. This is the aim of the program. For example, I want to find cube of a number. Here I use it a into a into a. Only one statement it contains. Whenever we are going to call automatically, it will replace the body here. Then in the main program, we are declaring the variable x and y. Enter a number. Then we will input that x value. Then y equals cube of x will write that means here now we are calling the function the calling whatever x value here will going to give that will take it as the cube of x if i'm going to give x is 2 then 2 into 2 into 2 it will calculate then we are displaying cube of x equals y then get cs this is a simple program by using inline function now is it clear Next, we'll move on to the next question. Define an inline function, write the advantages and disadvantages of inline function. Whereas already I told you it is a short function where compiler will replace the function called by the body. And here in this we have some advantages as well as the disadvantages. For example, if you have go to statement, switch statement, for statement, then it will not work go to switch unconditional if it wants to jump from one part of the program to another part of the program that is not possible here and if you have multiple more statements then also it will not work but here generally the time consumption is very less here because directly the compiler will replace the function called by the body that's why whereas a member function defined within a class with the keyword inline for a non-member function of a class is called it as inline function when they come on advantages, the inline member functions are compact function calls. Only few lines we have here we have statements are very less. Therefore, the size of object code considerably reduced. The size is very less, memory takes very less here for the statements. Then the speed of execution of the program is increases and you have very less statements that's why it will execute very fastly very efficient code can be generated from this with that readability of the program increases these are the few advantages of inline function when we come on disadvantages of inline function the size of executable file size increases here and more memory is needed because the compiler will replace the function called by the body that's why 
on that place the memory is more here and with that if you have go to statement then also it will work then also it will not work if you have switch statement then also it will not work if you have for loop then also it will not work like that we have few drawbacks here now is it clear next we will move on explain friend function and their characteristics whereas here friend function is a non member function but it can able to access your private items also for example consider your private items for example laptop with your permission your friend can also able to access your private items is it no it means that friend is not your family member but still with your permission they can able to access your private item whereas friend function is a non member function it is not belongs to class it is a non member function a non member function of a class that has access to both private and protected access member is called it as friend function but it can able to access your private things protected things can also access with your permission is it no whereas when they come on characteristics of friend function there a friend function all through not a member function has full access rights but it can able to access your whatever private items you have access right to the private and protected members of the class here it can able to access your private as well as protected members and here we are using the keyword friend compulsory a friend function can be invoked like other normal functions but to define this function outside the class we does not require scope resolution operator then a friend function is declared by the class that is granting access it will going to give the permission to grant to access your data items there are normal external functions that are given special access privileges then with that the friend function especially the function is declared with the keyword friend compulsory we need a keyword friend it is a non member function it is just a friend of a class but while defining friend function it does not use either the keyword friend or scope resolution operator whereas already i told you scope resolution operator helps to define that member function belongs to which class for example void then here class name we are given as sum and here get data function get data function here the scope resolution operator helps to define the member function outside the class with that this tell you this particular function belongs to which class is it no whereas here we does not require scope resolution operator and also to define this function once again outside the class there also we does not require the keyword friend here then on this chapter you have studied majorly what do you mean by function overloading in the function overloading you have to remember what do you mean by function overloading the advantages of function overloading the disadvantages of function overloading with that you have to study one program this is a regarding function overloading with that you will get one more concept like inline function in inline function also you have to remember the definition inline function is a short function where the compiler will replace us the function called by the body then in this also you have to remember the advantage disadvantage with that syntax and one program then you may want to expect one more question like what is friend function write the features of friend function or explain with an example program you may to expect that means from this chapter you may expect programs also like function overloading inline function as well as friend function for all these three concept you have to remember the definition syntax definition syntax advantage disadvantage as well as program now is it clear for all of you next class we will meet you once again with a new chapter thank you for all of you